How's it going, Primes? Chicken is Prime here, and this is going to be a first for me. I want to talk about Doom: The Dark Ages. Now, in the background, you see I'm playing Doom Eternal, the final, uh, the the end of the main campaign, Final Sin. But yeah, I just want to talk about that trailer real quick for Doom: The Dark Ages. Let me tell you what that game looks immaculate. It looks really good. So, uh, of course, I don't have a capture card for YouTube, so. Um, <laughs> talking about the video, you just gotta take my word for it, I, I guess. I have the video playing on my phone. But, yeah, so the, the trailer looks like it opens up with, like, uh, Sentinel Prime, the planet of the Night Sentinels. And there's just crazy stuff getting thrown around. There was, like, a ballista-looking ship from the, uh, second, uh, second DLC where you fight Davos. Then, you know, the final boss. But anyway, it shows Doom Guy or the Doom Slayer sitting in his. Uh, it looked like his Doom Fortress from you know the normal campaign and second campaign and the. I don't think you're in it in the third campaign or a second. But anyway, you see his uh, double barrel shotgun, which was pretty cool, or a super shotgun. Because instead of it reloading like as you see in the video, it's a lever action, which is pretty cool. And he kind of reloads it like uh, the Terminator and Terminator Two, where Arnold. You know flips around his finger i think he broke his finger doing that during the movie but anyway that's how he reloads it and it's pretty cool and you got his uh his shield with the slayer's mark now that started making me think why would doom guy need a uh a shield right and it got me thinking what if this is before he got the powers to you know really kill demons you know in the main campaign where you're walking through sentinel prime and, well I forgot the the name the main name for the city, so I'm just gonna call it Sentinel Prime because that's where that, that's the planet, I think. Uh, anyway, uh, and Samor Maker, he's like, hey, get into the Divinity Machine, and we'll give you um, we'll give you powers. While well, that same Divinity Machine is supposed to, it pretty much just drove regular Night Sentinel. It was insane, but when Doom Guy stepped into it. It was different when he stepped into it. It was like, "Hey, whoa, wait a second. He, he's getting powers beyond our um, beyond our control." So, uh, I haven't seen any other. I better say this now. I haven't seen any other reviews for the trailer. I've been more just watching the trailer on my own. But anyway, uh, that shield makes me think, "Hey, this could be him before he gets his powers, and then maybe in the campaign we see him kill that Titan. That it was like one of the biggest Titans." We may see him kill it with his uh, sword, but yeah, I'm still watching on my phone and he's equipped everything and it looks like in his doom fortress, you see it shoot out like this yellow beam of light and you see it hit the ground and a bunch of demons fly everywhere. Now I'm pretty sure this has already been commented on or talked about, but it's kind of cool how it pretty much looks like he came in on a pillar of light. That's what it looked like. Think of Thor in one of the Avengers movies when he comes in on that well pillar of light. I want to say it was Avengers Endgame when he came in and started beating up everybody. Yeah, that's what it reminds me of. He goes in, takes a crash landing, and he stands up and looking um, awesome as he just looks cool. But it also his armor is also pretty cool. I do have to say that the one thing, of course, I gotta complain about it. His helmet looks too much like the Doom Eternal helmet. Uh, it would've been cool. I mean, I get why, but it would be cool if it was more in the art style of in the Codex, where he looked more like a gladiator, and you play as the gladiator skin in Doom Eternal's main campaign. But other than that, it does look pretty cool. The cape. I, I could do without the cape. I'm, I mean, don't get me wrong. I like capes, but I prefer uh, the best example I could say is a poncho. Think of Master Chief in the Halo 5 commercial. The Halo 5 commercial where he's walking through the desert and his armor's all covered up. That's what I like, where he has like the helmet uh, covered by a hoodie. But Doom Guy just has a cape. It's it's pretty all right. I'm not the biggest fan of it, but I can I can kind of get behind it a little bit. Okay, now it shows I'm fighting a Mancubus, and these Mancubi, or I don't even know what you call Mancubus, Mancubi, but, uh, it, you know, it does look like old age, 
and instead of shooting out regular fireballs they look like they're shooting out magma rocks covered in chains but that could be just a film grain on my phone because my phone's cheap but uh, it looks like he has like a power backpack of some sorts and he has that little hole in his chest where the doom eternal one had that little heartbeat in his chest that's what it looks like now then you got the uh, i forgot what the name of the weapon is but it's called like the, the skull crusher we all know what that one is the skull crusher where you pick up a demon's head and you use its head as ammo that's pretty awesome you know i actually do like that We're very barbaric and you know doom guy has to be barbaric for these demons that are also barbaric but in the next scene over you see him use his uh, shield chainsaw and you he he rips and tears you know he rips the cord and it just starts spinning now that's when he throws it at a revenant or so it looks like a revenant and the revenant looks a little i could be a hundred percent wrong which i'm i'm most likely am 100 percent wrong haven't done much research on this topic but uh it looks kind of like a mixture of doom uh doom 64 and doom 3 where he's like real bony looking very very skinny but you know i could be wrong about this this is just there's no script no nothing about this video but yeah he looks very skinny but he also looked like he was wearing kind of a trench coat too because i saw like these little flap looking things hanging off his side but yet again that could be my uh my phone's thing but anyway it looks like you fight I, I didn't i can't get a real good look at it but it looks like a oh, i forgot the name of it but they look like the knights the hell knight but they have the uh, the blades on their arm the my uh, my doom lord is lacking at the moment but you cut his head off and it looks like his shield can also deflect uh bullets because you see an arachnatron shooting him now the arachnatron does look pretty cool i do have to agree with that and then they got a rail spike looking weapon which uh, reminds me too much of the ballista which i know that's the point and then after that you see him with a mace which is pretty cool but i don't know i would prefer him having a sword and then the piece of resistance the the mech suit that one i'm excited for it looked just like the mech suit you power up in doom eternal's main campaign with the giant shoulder cannons that you use to blow holes into like surfaces of things but I, i'm excited to do that everyone wanted you to everyone wanted to play as a mech and the dlc both dlcs but we never got that and then you see him draw, ride his dragon now i don't know if this is the same dragon that's in ancient gods part one i think it's part one i don't it, it could be still the same dragon i just remember the other dragon being more whitish looking now you're probably thinking why don't i just record that for the gameplay well i also work tonight so i don't really have really much time to dabble in everything but anyway you see him flying through uh, um um sentinel prime i'm trying to remember the the city's name but uh it's not necrovol necrovol is in hell um but yeah you see him fly through the fly to the city and you see him jump on a titan and blow pretty much do a godzilla move from godzilla 2014 down the 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 titan's throat and then you just get the title card doom the dark ages or dark age and that's when you see the his dragon do the thing coming out in 2025 now to kind of cut this video short i'm just thinking what if it's just all a ploy and you like you know it says oh before he was a hero he was a weapon of the gods and kings but what if the game takes place after doom eternal or doom ancient gods part two he's in the sarcophagus what if he wakes back up like what if it's all just a ploy a ploy to make us think hey you know the game is the dark ages so it takes place before doom 2016 but yet again what if it wakes up he wakes up out of that sarcophagus it's like the reason why it's called the dark ages is because yeah davoth died all the demons outside of hell also died what if they just start coming back you know um as uh a new hell priest showed up or uh sam or maker got really aggravated and he was like hey you know what let me take all the power and let me take over earth to show doom guy not to mess with me but i don't know uh only one show has been out so far i know everyone's saying that the game is a prequel if it is it is there's no problem with that at all no problem at all i'm just saying like what if that's like a massive like just 
boom in your face boom plot twist you know it just yeah but anyway that's all i have for today really uh hope to catch on one of my next videos probably gonna record some more warhammer 40k bolt gun and yeah uh make sure y'all stay tuned for doing the dark ages because i'm definitely getting that game uh space marine 2 i'm also definitely getting that game and transformers reactivate whenever it comes out but yeah hope everyone has a wonderful life and this is jake prime signing out so all are one